BRCA and OBRECA is one of the first examples how germline genetic mutations and possibly the same mutations in a tumor are exploited for targeted therapy for the patients. If you are born with an inherited mutation in, in one of these two genes, you inherit one working copy, either from your father or from your mother, and a non-working copy, either from your father or your mother. And you need both genes to have a very good DNA repair. If one of the genes doesn't work, your DNA repair is compromised. But there's many more genes that have an influence on DNA repair, so it's not only these two ones. When a normal, breast cancer, a normal breast cell actually turns to breast cancer cell, usually the second copy of BRCA gene is lost. So in that situation, when both BRCA genes don't work, this cancer cell is very susceptible for any additional damage to DNA repair. And if you add this damage by adding a drug that does that, this cell will most probably die. We call this synthetic lethality. BRCA and PARP are doing two different parts of DNA repair while the BRCA genes are concerned with double-strand DNA repair, uh, PARP, or some of the PARPs are concerned with single-strand DNA repair. So it's different components of DNA repair. And you have to have at least some of DNA repair working for the cell to survive. And the more of the DNA repair machinery doesn't work, the more likely it is that the cell will die.